What's up? It's your boy Big G coming at you again with yet another video. <clears throat> I'd like to thank everybody for checking your boy out, subscribing to my page. Yeah, I had to pull out all stops on this one. Uh, subscribing to my page. Uh, I hope you be enlightened. I hope you're learning something. I hope you're learning about why not to go to jail. I hope you learning not to really trust correction officers to save your behind when you go to jail. So that's another reason for you not to go to jail. Now, I'm not going to get into my stage. Y'all already know who I am. Y'all already know by now, if you follow my page, you know I hustled on Rikers Island. I went to jail for all kinds of stuff that you heard in the news doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a low point in my life. I'm going to say low point. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not encouraging anyone to get into that business. However, I was having a conversation the other day, and um, somebody asked me, Big G, do you think smuggling drugs on Rikers Island by the correction officers is ever going to stop? My personal opinion, I'm not trying to put this on no correction notes out there. It, actually, my videos is to deter, deter anybody from going to jail and from deterring COs from doing what I did and end up in prison. But it seems like a lot of people out there, uh, surveillance and correction officers alike, tend to keep picking that lock and breaking into prisons. Like they feel like they're missing something. So I'm just going to run down a couple of things that's in the news just to you know bring you up to snuff, bring you up to, to speed to let you know my personal opinion, it should stop, and you should stop, and you shouldn't be hustling on Rikers Island, but I don't think it's ever going to stop. And here's why. Number one, correction also sentenced to over three years for conspiring to smuggle contraband inside, inside Rikers Island. That happened June 18, 2024. Another one, CO charged with conspiring to smuggle narcotics into Rikers Island. That happened October 2nd. 2024. Hmm. This has been a busy year. Um, a New York City CEO is charged with smuggling illegal drugs on the Rikers Island and taking bribes. That happened again, October 20, uh, October 23rd, 2024. Uh, another one. Correction officer charged in federal court for smuggling drugs and other contraband on Rikers Island. That happened October 11th, 2024. Number five. Six people accused of smuggling drugs and accepting bribes on Rikers Island. That have been March 2024. This year has been a hell of a year uh, for the island. They, they must be jumping and pumping over there. They must be uh, partying like it's 1999 over there. I mean, this, I'm telling you, it's dangerous to be bringing drugs inside there because when it, it ain't nothing worse than a high inmate. They don't have nothing to lose. They don't care. You understand what I'm saying? You know, he might be mild-mannered, but he get to sniff some coke or smoking some weed or drinking some energy. Somebody going to get their ass beat. So now, a correction officer from Westchester County smuggles drugs into Rikers Island. That happened November 4th, 2023. 2023. Another one. Rikers Island CEO testified he smuggled and he smuggled and he got creative. He smuggled drugs and test, he testified that he smuggled drugs and assault comic book and soap comic book pages into Rikers Island. That happened April 19th, 2024. Another one, correction officer uh, gets two years in prison for smuggling contraband on Rikers Island. That happened November 22nd, 2023. So you see the pattern, right? You see why I feel that it's never gonna stop. It ain't just me. I mean, I'm not trying to listen. I don't want nobody to have no sympathy for me. I'm not begging you to have no sympathy for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just bringing to light why I think it will never stop. And I'm trying to educate correction officers who are still smuggling stuff in there. Listen, it's just like the streets. There's only two ways going in. I don't think you're going to really get killed inside Rikers Island for smuggling drugs, but you might end up in prison and doing some time. Now, another one. Rikers Island, you know, test about, okay, nope. Uh, correction officer. Gets two year in prison for smuggling contraband on Rikers Island, November 22nd, 2023. Two COs charged with smuggling contraband into Rikers Island, August 3rd, 2024. I mean, 2024, it seemed like it was on and popping up in there. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all saying, don't COs make money? Don't they make money? Like, why would a correction officer smuggle drugs inside Rikers Island? Uh, Get my book, Corruption on the Perpetrator with a Badge, is, is right now is on Amazon. Now, I'm going to keep it going. Two correction officers charged with smuggling. No, I did that 2020. August? No, August 3rd? Yeah, 2021. Three New York City jail workers busted for smuggling illegal drugs 
into Rikers Island, April 9th, 2024. So sometimes, like, even in my situation, it's not just correction officers. You understand what I'm saying? It's, uh, it'd be kitchen staff. And one time I seen somebody legal aid smoking some cigarettes. I mean, cigarettes are not a, a contraband of narcotics, but... I started my business on Rikers Island because Mayor Bloomberg stopped smoke, stopped selling cigarettes in all city ag agencies. So when he stopped that, that opened up a business for somebody to be lucrative on Rikers Island for selling cigarettes. I'm telling you, one cigarette to somebody who, who ain't smoking in a while could go for much as $50. Do you know how much $50 commissary buys when a bag of chips is 10 cents? Let me keep it going. Uh, Westchester County, Drugs or Comic Book, uh, August 20th, okay, New York City, uh, okay, April 9th, uh, three correction officers busted for smuggling illegal drugs and contraband in the Rikers Island, April 9th, 2024. Like I said, 2024 must have been a hell of a year, you know what I'm saying? So now, here's another one, correction officers, Rikers Island correction officers and detainee cuffed on Rikers Island for smuggling drugs, April 11th, 2024. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I should work there. I never saw it, but I heard rumors about correction officers being handcuffed at muster and roll call. Muster's where all the correction officers stand in the line and you know the answer just like any other job. Hold on, hold on. Let, me let, you, let you see what's happening. Let you see what's going down. Um, when you at muster, you stand in there. It's like any job you go there and they take attendance. Johnson, you hear Peterson, you hear Jones, you hear Brown, you hear. And then you see these dudes with these suits on, and everybody looking like, who these dudes with their suits on? Because we've been warned that they will come arrest you from roll call, and they will put handcuffs on you in front of your peers, in front of other correction officers and everything, and haul your butt right up out of there. I'm just telling you, like it is. Now, I'm going to keep it going. Uh, like I said, correction officer and detainee cuffed on Rikers Island for smuggling drugs April 11, 2024. The uh, seventh correction officer was charged with smuggling drugs into Rikers Island, January 6, 2023. Now, these ain't in order and stuff like that. And I can go on. I'm just, you know, I'm just keeping it light right now. All these dudes had their own pick, and it was picking a lot to get into prison because me, just like them, thought I invented the wheel. I thought I was the first one that's going to get away with, sell, with, with smuggling drugs and other contraband and licking cell phones and start side records out. I thought I was going to get away with it. You couldn't tell me that as an officer, how am I going to get caught? Guess what? I did time. So now, I'm just letting you know, you can hate, don't hate the messenger. Another one. Six guards and 15 others charged with Rikers Island bribery case, March 14, 2020. And the list goes on. Now, my thing is like this. Me, personally, I did my dirt by myself. I didn't tell nobody. You know, um, my book, I wrote a book. It's called Corruption Officer. And there is me, Gary, why I did it. Why I should have known better not to do it. Oh, you, you know, you got to let you see the effects now. Got to let, let you see the effects. Because all you see those out there, that thing is a game. This is how you're going to end up. Um, I wrote in my book why I did it. Now, some people, I'm going to give you the buck. Some people say, Big G, you're dry snitching because you're telling on the other officers out there that might be hustling on Rikers Island. Exactly. So, it's not that I'm telling on them. I'm telling you my story. I'm telling you what I did. I don't know what some other CEO is doing out there. I don't. I really don't. I couldn't tell you. I don't even know these characters right here. I'm just, this is all in the paper. I got this all from, you can look all, everything I'm saying, you can look up right now and see if I'm lying. So, a seventh Rikers Island correction officer was charged with smuggling drugs into the jails, January 6, 2023. Uh, six, okay, boom, I already did the six guards and others accepting bribery charges. Because guess what? Let me tell you something. When you smuggle drugs on Rikers Island, it automatically comes with a bribery charge. They automatically put that on you because when you go out to get a job, when you finish your sentence, you go to jail and everything, and you go get a job, when they punch your name up, you could be Joe Black smuggling drugs. A lot of people go to jail for drug charges. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But when you go punch your name up there, it says, you know, Akeem Johnson drug charge, right? Smuggling drugs, attempt drug sale, blah, blah, blah. And they figure a lot of 
people in uh, urban neighborhoods go to jail for, for, for drugs, you know, trying to sell drugs. But when they tack that bribery charge on there, the person is like, that, that makes them double take, look at your application and wonder like, who were you and what capacity were you working that you got a bribery charge? Because Joe Smuck and them stand on the corner ain't getting no bribery charge. They ain't bribing nobody to come up there. People come up there on their own free will to buy drugs. So when you get that bribery charge, then they dig a little deeper. With me, I, I couldn't get a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs wouldn't hire me because, you know, with a drug charge, you're hired. Bribery? Oh, you were law enforcement and you effed that up. Nah, black, we can't hire you. You can't paint the S's on Skittles around here. You know what I'm saying? So now, let me keep it moving. Um, correction notes on Rackets Island admits to smuggling drugs for bribes. September 20th, 2020. Now, wording is everything. They probably sat, sat him down in that cell, hit him with them football numbers, he probably wasn't built like that. They probably told him that he wasn't going to be in protective custody, that he's going to put him in there and lock him up with the same inmates who he probably beat their ass and did all kind of dirty stuff to, you know what I'm saying, while he's a correction officer, so he probably copped out. But when you cop out, they read these long articles like you said, like you sat up there with your hand across your chest and say, please forgive me, correction officers. Yes, I did this. Yes, I brung, I admit to bringing drugs and stuff like that. I admit to No, that's not how I go. They give you the deal. You look at the deal and you sign it. Then they reword it themselves. Either way, you're going up north, my man. So, now let me keep it, let me keep it uh, going. Three current and former Rikers Island guards indicted for smuggling drugs and taking bribes July 29th, 2014. Here he is, 2024. So, I'm already 10 years deep, my guy. You know what I'm saying? So if you ask me, seriously, it should stop. Is it going to stop? I don't think so. The reason why I don't think so, because I'm beyond with you, sometimes it's so easy to do that. It's so easy to do that. All the security measures that they got to stop people from bringing drugs in there, that's really for civilians. And a lot of times, you really can't stop that once a civilian person put high drugs in their body cavity. And if they slick enough to get it to whoever on the visit floor and he put it in body cavity, they should have a, a post on Rikers Island called Nuts and Butts. That's when, you know, the men come off the visit. They got to take all their clothes off. They got to turn around. They got to spread their behind cheeks. And you really supposed to look in their cavity to see if you see a string or a balloon or something bulging out their anal cavity that may uh, be dr uh, drugs. 99.9% .9 correction officer are not that thorough. They're going to tell you, bend over, cough, this, that, but, and then and we COVID everything. You better be standing over there. You spread your buck to you. You got a whole Mack truck under there. I'm not looking really up your behind crack. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, that's how stuff get inside. When females or whatever take it and put it inside their, their private parts, you can strip them butt naked. You're still not going to find it unless they really want to find it. Dogs are not going to even smell that on the line. So, um... Uh, uh, last but not least, Rikers Island Correctional Officer get three years and five months for smuggling drugs inside Rikers Island, July 13, 2011. My guy, listen to me closely. I know a lot of inmates are probably going to be mad at me, but don't get mad, brother, because it ain't going to stop. There's going to be somebody in there. And, and listen, I'm not trying to be condescending because I got caught. I'm talking facts here. When I was uh, in the academy, an instructor told um, the female uh, uh, cadets in there, recruits, one of y'all going to sleep with the inmate. Now, and it was convincing. And she told us that. Then she said, excuse me. She left out to take a phone call. We heard her in the hallway cursing out the school because of her being a female correction officer and working so many hours that her, she found that her son was the head blood in the school. Her son, and she's a correction officer. So I'm just trying to give you the dynamics of how it really is, how life is as a correction officer. And my man, stop breaking into prison. You know what I'm saying? Those are foolish moves that you're making when you're trying to smuggle drugs in there. I know you're not going to stop because it's easy peasy. You're probably walking by your man's doing security at the front gate. Y'all going to the Nick game. Y'all going to the party. Y'all going to the strip club. Y'all spending that money. Parking lot full of uh, nice cars and everything. You're living the life. And you never think you're going to get caught. Just like I never got caught. Right? That's why I'm here telling you the story. It's your boy Big G. Don't hate the messenger. And like the last message I'm going to give you guys.
corruption off to the book. You cop my book. It's like a, a tell all about myself. Maybe it should be implemented into every academy across the United States to uh, let these recruits know that you're not going to win, bro. You're not going to win. It's your boy, Big G. Stop breaking into prison, and I'm out.